Hi guys, welcome back to the garden series for our project for the summer. Um, I was just going to give you a little tour of <laughs> our backyard at the state that it's in right now. Um, it's currently March 9th, I think. Um, and it's an overcast day. It's not too bad. So we're out here just cleaning up um, from the winter and getting everything ready. So I'm going to switch you around and show you some of the projects that we have going on right now. So one of the major projects that we're doing is we're getting rid of our old yard items. We really don't have anything super fancy back here, but my husband got this um, woven uh, like little patio set that we're going to put together. And we are moving our smoker. That's a smoker. The wind was so bad the other night, it toppled over our charcoal one. So we're gonna fix all of that today. But my husband's also going to build us a little extension onto our like little patio area. And he's gonna do it kind of in this area so that we could have the grill over there, the patio set on the patio and hopefully we're going to clean out our raised beds and the soil has set quite settled quite a bit um uh, we didn't grow i think we grew uh, basil back there and nothing grew in these two last year because we were just still trying to get everything situated so we're gonna fill those up and use those for uh, herbs or something, maybe just flowers because it is underneath a window. And then we've got our raised beds over here. These always do good. We usually grow um, squash or something in here. I actually have carrots planted in here right now. So hopefully they'll like the whole thing. So hopefully they'll come up. This is our herb garden. Uh, we just need to go in and pull out all the dead. That's mint. So if I rip it up, it'll still come back. And in the middle was oregano. It does the same thing. Um, and then we had some parsley here, which we'll do again. And then just uh, some more raised beds for different vegetables. And then we have this area that my husband is working on. We had some tomatoes over here last year. I'll straighten this out so you can get a good view. So we invested in these tarps all around the edge of the yard that we're gonna have our garden because it gets so hot in the summertime that we have to have some kind of shade. And we didn't realize this until almost all of our garden burned last year. So we're, we invested in those kind of late in the season, but we have them for this year. And we have these little stakes, these white stakes like all around because we can move the tarps from uh, the little links that they're on to the fence and link them on here and have them go this way if it gets too hot in the morning to give shade over there. So we're, and then we're, con we're trying to get nutrition back into the ground. Um, it's very hard. This house is a newer house and it has had absolutely no backyard no nutrients and it was just sand it was sad this area is our composting area my husband just turned it the other day um, and we are learning that you have to put paper or browns into your compost pile so you have your eggshells your coffee your leftover vegetables you can do brown paper bags just we just shred ours up and then water and you turn it and we did the ph this morning and it's come up from literally a zero <laughs> up to a six just in the past we've been doing this compost for two years so it has moved so we started over here and we're just slowly moving down because we did spread this uh our compost that we had here we did spread that into other areas of the yard just so you can see the difference in the ground that is what our yard normally is it's just sand it's horrible so we're trying to get it like that and we do have to buy potting soil and garden soil and stuff like that to get it in but it's a work in progress and we're going to get rid of these chairs and clean up our fire pit uh we built this like two years ago too so we're going to clean the fire pit up and then we have a whole bunch of the baskets that we usually put flowers in throughout the yard oh 
and he got me a little outside uh, carpet to put our new stuff on with our <laughs> upside down barbecue pit. But that's it guys. So slowly working on turning our backyard into our backyard oasis. We'll keep you updated. All right, we're coming back in, guys. This is our little patio set that we put together and Dobby approves of the rug and these all cute. There's our new patio set up. And then we moved the grill over here. And then I forgot to show you, I did tell you that we had pots, but we also have blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries planted down here. We'll see you guys next time.